welcome to Inside the Culture. I'm your host, Willie the Bam Johnson, along with my lovely family, my wife, Kimberly Johnson, my son, Marco the Answer Johnson, and my two precious jewels, Asaya Johnson and Zarion Johnson, a part of our Dojo Kids crew. We're here to empower you, get you going, motivating you with the principles, concepts of martial arts as a lifestyle inside the dojo. Signees releasing Dre and DOC from Ruthless. Whatever, homie. Think I'm signing that? You crazier than I thought you was. I'm out. Nah. I think you're gonna stay here for a while. You can talk tough all you want. But this ain't no record. Don't make me change. Willie Bam Johnson, inside the dojo, who you are, and of course the call to action. Once again, what we do is all about the next generation. Not the adults, but I'm trying to, we're trying to prepare the next generation by introducing them to the current talent pool. When I was coming up, it wasn't a lot of opportunities for us, but now we got a wealth of opportunities. We got martial arts, not just doing a martial arts film, but we got them doing a lot of other things outside of that. Give him an intro. Talk to him. Because you was in a movie, and you was in a TV, a TV show. Come on, talk to him. We worked together on Broken Angels, an action thriller, everything. It was dark. It was good. It was awesome. Me, I'm, you know, I just acted, played Shook Knight on some stuff. But I'm here now doing what I love, my family reunion, uh, a legend. Grandmaster Sifu, Grandmaster Bam, I, I mean, I've admired him for the last 30 years. He's literally one of the original fighting black kings. People don't understand what that means, but uh, look, look it up. Uh, uh, and then, and here we go. Hi, my name is Jeremy Sample, stunt coordinator, stunt actor. Uh, had a privilege to work with this gentleman on Luke Cage. Uh, currently just wrapped up season one of The Breaks on VH1, and also OG with uh, Jeffrey Wright, directed by by Madeline Sackler. So, so what would we say to a, ch a kid out there, you know, and, and I'm, I'm going to go real deep, okay, because just like I came to this because I'm in a project, you know, mom poor, see a lot of violence, bad things happening, you know, I need a way out. Martial arts was my way out. So when I seen Bruce Lee, I ain't seen Bruce Lee. I seen me. I seen hope and opportunity, and nobody believed in me. But I kept on putting those pictures up for everybody that I seen because one day I believed that I was going to have a better life. Thank God that I now have a better life. What I'm doing? What can we say to a kid right now? Because I don't care what nobody say. It's something out there right now. And there's more of them out there trying to figure out how can I break this? I don't want to do this, but I ain't got no choice. How can you be real with them right now? I say I made a decision and I went on faith in them and stubbornness. This one is like for me, no means go. I mean, it's go somewhere else, but I'm definitely going back. There's nothing you can't do. If I can do it with, with, with I mean, I was 360 when I started. I ain't too, I used to be good looking. I ain't good looking no more. But it's like, you know, you know, I, 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 I had it by training, martial arts training since I was five. And, you know, you do this your whole life, you become what you've done. So but I say, don't let anyone break your spirit. You have to have a, 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 a total focus and, and realize like, yo, no don't mean, don't stop at the no. You keep going, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and network, and my guarantee you, you'll make it. People usually always make it if they just stay on that path. So don't give up, don't give up. I come from a realm of proper preparation um, and discipline. Um, in my world, you know, you, 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 you prepare for greatness. And my people have always told us that there's always room at the top for excellence. So strive to be the best, not, not be average, not be okay, but strive to be the best at what it is that you do. And that comes through hard work and, and not going out to parties or, or not, you know, hanging out and taking drugs and doing things that are stupid and putting yourself in situations that aren't positive, that don't, don't help you move forward. So make good decisions, be prepared, and work hard. 
That's it. Willie Bam Johnson inside the dojo. Keep the faith, keep pushing. Who's? No, you good. Go ahead. Go. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, this guy, a uh, washcloth in him. Thank you. Yeah. Jari, are you looking for me? <laughs> Stay by mine. Yes. The, the name of my organization is Flow. It stands for Friendly Loving Opportunities. Uh, it's named after my mom, uh, Florence Mullen. She passed away um, April of 2013. What we do, we go out, we do outreach every week in the community, um, every Tuesday, and uh, we get donations. We have a lot of corporate sponsors like the Narrow Bread, Yaya Bakery. Our pizza bodies, but uh, one of the impacts we do is uh, we go to different parts in the, uh, uh, Baltimore City, Baltimore County, wherever there's hardship, and uh, we try to provide toiletry supplies. We hold uh, a city streetcar, and we try to uh, give to the people experiencing hardship because so, one one thing we're experiencing when we help the people we need, a lot of times they don't know where a men's shelter is, they don't know where a female shelter is. We try to connect them. With where they can always where they can always get food. So we're down here today just delivering the blessing bags, just trying to help make a difference to people. Um, just you know, experiencing hardships in life and just coming down here is once again proof that it can happen to anybody. It's important for me as a mom, for my children to be here to help give those things out. But also just as a human being, just trying to make a difference in people's lives and you see, you know, when you bring something in and they swarm you and my kids are asking why did they do that, that's because they have nothing, they want to make sure they get something before they leave here today because they never know when the next opportunity might arrive. So it's just sad but it's good to know that we can try to make some kind of a difference in some people's lives. It is a place where I said this is like where my husband came when he was homeless and just, you know, just nice. I met somebody in there that's part of an organization called Flow and I'm definitely going to be reaching out to him to do more work. Um, sometimes, you know, we go through things in life like my husband being homeless to come back and be able to give back to people here at the same spot where he, he had to beg for food or shelter or clothes or loves to keep warm knowing that my children and our students put together these bags to help these people you know just have some gloves when it gets cold or some toothpaste in their mouth when they wake up in the morning and just to know that my husband went through this exact same thing at this exact same spot and to be able to come back and to help people is a true blessing. Maybe not everybody knows. The Sharks have nothing to do with who comes on. Laurel, Maryland's Willie Johnson. Good, come on, work.
go. Go down lower. Low. Lower. Pick it up. Teamwork. Come on, Cameron. Go. Come on, you over here. Go, go, go. Come on, Mr. Reed. You heard me? Stay so ready. Now, you two, go.